Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris, and I, I'm kind of kind of have to say I'm kind of excited about being back in the studio. Kind of excited. You mean you ain't having to lift nothing today? Oh, That's my why. back is so sore between my shoulder blades. Now I know y'all can't you can't see this, but when he went, I'm just gonna take this board and spread this granite out, and he bent over straight <laughs> from his hips without bending his knees. Took I, him about four minutes to go. You know what? We need a better idea. That and then the pulling. The, the pulling, dropping down and doing the pull. Now, I feel it, it's sore, but it feels good. But it was so, it got so tight when I got home. I sent you a text and said, getting older, you don't wait till the next morning to get sore. I got sore that day. Isn't it crazy how in touch you are with exercise and working all the muscles? Yet when you do something that's not normal, oh, I, I, you feel it. I felt like I was beat with a truck. We bowled Tuesday night. Right. Getting ready for city bowling tournament. Saturday. Well, all day I had that, I get a deal right here and kind of my sciatic. After? By the, hmm, no. I oh, got I had oh, it yesterday right, right, during the you, day. Yeah. And I also had a deal right here under my shoulder blade. I just had a, like a catch in it from sleeping. Well, by the time we got through bowling last night, my yeah. left leg was killing me. My back was killing me. Got home, got a little massage therapy on it, about that, you know, about that long. But good, deep, hard elbow. Took some of leave and woke up today and was, was fine. Hadn't bothered me all day, or you know, right, a full day now. Right. So I don't know. It's just one of those deals of. I'm like, man, I'm going to be down. I go to bowl Thursday and then Saturday and Sunday. I'm yeah. going to be hurting. But well, you, you said that. it. You said it. I mean, I roll on that roller, but you said it. I work out every day. I can lift. I can run. But just doing it. I, I've, been, I've been preaching this. Well, you well, only have so many steps and so many uh, deals in your life. That's why I kind of move slow sometimes. <laughs> I don't want to rush it. You know? <laughs> Sometimes. You don't want to rush to the finish line? No. <laughs> I got one something. race you don't want to finish. <laughs> I got something I want to talk about. Okay. Okay. And I think it's got to do with... Oh, and your headphones in the car. Oh. Okay. It's got to do with today's athletes, which leads over into society. And I heard it yesterday on Tony Kornheiser said it. Athletes oh, are so... They celebrate everything. I make a shot, I'm the baddest mofo. I make a tackle, I'm the baddest mofo. I run an outline, a pass, I catch a ball, I'm the baddest mofo. And they get up and celebrate every little bitty thing. Which then in returns, because they're talking about more fighting and more guys getting aggravated, you get aggravated when I do my job. Right. So when you tackle me and get up and celebrate, I get aggravated because you're celebrating doing your job. Oh, uh, no, I'm taking it as you taunted me because you tackled me. Well, where I'm going is, do you see the UPS driver drop that package off and then go, you die. They should start doing it. And then That is a great paper. idea. At the and backyard, go. every time we give a drink, bartender I think they ought to, be ought to like, do a, yeah. an icky shuffle. The bartender, yeah, take that, slide it down there. That's what I do. I'm a bar I'm so sick of these mother high pad pine Priced babies, black, white, brown, every one of them. This Bryce, is the one that gets me. Bryce Harper. Oh. oh my You ain't God. caught one pass in three damn oh games. Oh my God. The and you're down thirty to seven. Uh, and you give the first down signal. Yeah. The bat Don't flip. Like that was actually went pretty good time. Yeah. The bat flip, Bryce Harper, the bat flip when they're down by six. You punks. I'm so I, I won't. I want people who work to do start doing it. I want people to work that just have a normal job to start celebrating them. I got my report I like done. It. I like it. Throw my throw my stuff. That stole my stapler down. I'm so sick of these mother beep. Well, everybody, not just your athletes, everybody looks for that. Hey, I swept under. I swept under the refrigerator. Yeah, yeah. Well, damn it, you was supposed to. That's exactly where I was going. You, 
You're supposed to do your job. It is. Look at me. I, I did something that I was already supposed to do. So it's really... I, the celebra- Can I throw one person under the bus? That's throw one. Gary if you want. Gary Cassell, love him like a son because I think he is my son, is the world's worst of, hey, I know y'all told me to do this, but I did this. What do you... Where's my this guy's awesome shirt? And I want to go, and I want to say these words. So, Dad, if you're listening, bitch, I pay you to do that. I love that guy, but sometimes. I wonder what my dad always said. Boy, sometimes I could just kill you. (laughs) I I know where that phrase (laughs) comes from. Father, I understand that. And I don't even have kids. I could just kill you. Boy, I I could just kill you. Time will tell. Time will tell. That dog don't hunt. Boy, I could just kill you. My dad didn't say much to me. He just did this. (laughs) The look. I'm like, oh, what the hell did I just do? The look is tough, too. You know, and it was one of those deals. If I would have jumped up and did this and looked in the stands, he'd have been going, oh, my God. Oh my God! I yeah, c- come off that field. Yeah, I celebrated one layup and I got fouled. Going to the hole, I get fouled, get the layup, I jump up and I did this, and this was back <clears throat> in the '85. And I'm not saying I I, I haven't celebrated. I, I know, I but I did I did this. I jumped up and I did that, and I heard the my dad used to whistle, <laughs> but he whistled like it, <laughs> and I went. <laughs> God dang it. But you know what? Your dad was allowed to pop you upside the head. God dang right. Or whip you. And it, it, it's, it's, they don't you have don't it. do it anymore. You don't have it. You don't, these athletes, and I, and I keep saying these athletes because they lead these children that are playing sports. Now, when I see the six year old in Pee Wee football do that, I go, he's watching. Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah, he's or, he's or the kid playing baseball. He's watching Bryce Harper when he does that. So they, they bring that into to growing up, and then they become that. Just, I hate I hate the ones that are so naturally gifted, and they don't appreciate it. Oh, I told you. That's usually the ones that really really go overboard. Frustrating. With it. So, frustrating. but anyway, glad to be back in the studio. If you haven't noticed, I'm going to post this picture up. It's a panoramic view of what we've been doing. Thank you, Russell Fight, for taking that picture for us, and. We'll probably end up doing some fabrication. Speaking of fabrication, Flying B, our buddy Aaron Bird, can make all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Now, he advertised with us. Yep. As y'all know, it costs $100 a month. Yep. So we need to get him $100 worth of business. I totally agree. Every month. Every we month. We want him to at least break even. Just like everybody else, ADS, uh, all of Alicia, them. and everybody. We want them to get their $100 back. I totally agree. For two reasons. So they can pay us again. Pay us again, and then pay us the month after that. I like them So both. that like is our both. motto. I like Also, I have one other thing. Not not to shortchange... Uh, Wait for it. Not to shortchange him, but tomorrow, at the Alfa Romero Fiat dealership, from 6 to 8 p.m., they will be unveiling a brand new vehicle from Alfa Romero called... I can't even spell it. Giulia, G-I-U-L-I-A. They can come by, test drive. They'll have catered food from Pignetti's. Okay. So I might need to go by there and check that out. That's Nathan's And they will also have Valley Mills Vineyards will be here with wine and olive oils and vinegars and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I like it. A lease, 2017. A lot of that. You got to put a lot down to get this thing, but then it's only three seventy nine. dollars That's not bad. And it's a kick butt. Well, that's tomorrow. <clears throat> but then you can get Aaron to build to you, weld your shed. You, to park you build your little there. garage in there. He can there fix you it. go. Anything you can do. So get a hold of Aaron. All our sponsors, man. Yeah, because then you can take it down to ADS. Have it have put right. a little pinstripe that's on exactly it. That's exactly right. Then 
you can call Shane and them, have a security camera put up, make sure nobody's messing with it. Then you get a picture next to your car, you get that printed on your shirt at Presto T's. That's what I'm talking I about. I can do it every time. And when it's all done, head to the gym and then over to the crowd to make yourself feel better. God dang, man. Until Monday, I don't even know how to end this show any better away. I am Russ. This is Chris. Thank you all for your patience this week. We apologize, but we were down there hustling. I'm a hustler, hustler, baby. Until Monday, I am Russ. This is Chris.